Okay, I'm gonna be demonstrating using reverse stockinette duplicate stitch to weave in loose ends. Just gonna use a contrasting color so that you can see where my, my yarn is going. Okay, so this is the front of the work and this is just stockinette swatch. And then this is the back of work, so this is the pearl side, the wrong side, and you can see all the pearl bumps here. Put a couple of stitches in here to get us started. So what I'm gonna literally be doing here is following the line of the stitches in the yarn exactly. So this means I'm going to be up through the, the middle pearl bump, over to the left, which is where the stitch goes, and then, see how the stitch loops right there? I'm going to go back down, and then underneath is into the same exact stitch that, my, that I began in. Okay? So you're going to be going up through one stitch, over to the left, over, down through the stitch on the right, then back through the original loop. Okay? So we'll do that again. Going up through the middle, over to the left, over to the right, and then down through the same loop. So what you'll have is stitches on top of these stitches. And again, this is in reverse stockinette. So if we were to do this on the front, it would be the same thing, only we'd be mimicking the knit stitches. But this is a really great way to weave in ends because you really cannot see it from the front. So this is obviously a really different color. Can't see that on the front at all. You can feel it in the tension a little bit, but it's not going to make a noticeable difference. And as long as you make sure that you're not doing multiple rows of duplicate stitching on top of each other, you're really not going to be able to feel the difference in your fabric too much.